And in Lyons County, we got 100 new residents after Hurricane Irma. We call them halfbacks. What's that mean? They moved to Florida and there were hurricanes that moved halfway back. They didn't move back because of the lack of toll roads. They got out. They moved out because of the lack of infrastructure. Okay, what do I hear from the Miles County, Georgia? I'm the Swanee Riverkeeper. I and all our members care about fish, local smokable water, and the entire 10,000 square miles of the Swanee River Basin from Good Kenobi Swamp and Fort Yale, Georgia, all the way down to the Gulf. Okay, so what would actually keep halfbacks from leaving the state? Well, for example, some of the people I know in this room are usually without power for a week or two after a hurricane. It is not because they don't have electric lines running to their houses. What would help that? Solar power batteries. For a fraction of what's being proposed to be spent on these roads, you can fix that problem. Similarly, uh, broadband. In rural communities, you're not going to run fiber optic to every house. There's no one can afford that. It's going to be wireless. You can put up wireless towers for way less than the cost of this road. What else do we need? What are quality testing? Some of you may have heard about also a sewage problem. I hate that. I do not now, nor have I ever lived in the city of Valdosta. Um, we need water quality testing frequently, at least once a week, up and down the rivers. I bet you could do that for a year for less than already been spent on these meetings. Now, I hate to add, I compliment all of you who are sitting on the task force doing this work, but you are the cart before the horse. No one has established the need for this road. That should have been done before any of these meetings, before anybody asked you to spend your time sitting there for hour after hour. Oh, what else could we use? We could use less water withdrawals, including by Nestle, selling it back to us in plastic bottles that we don't have to pick up out of our rivers and streams. And we could use a little change in agriculture. Now, I'm a farmer myself, but I use a third as much fertilizer as it's common in the Swanee River Basin, it can be done. There's lots of problems that could be addressed. A total road addresses none of them. Swanee River, Swanee River Keeper is also a member of the No Roots and the Women Coalition. And it doesn't really matter if you have a no bill option, formally or not. It's kind of like jury confirmation. You can choose to say, don't build that road. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, I am the, my name is Evan Dean. I'm the town manager of the town of Greenville, and I am here representing the town council. And we categorically and unequivocally support the toll road. Um, about three weeks ago, we passed a resolution five to zero in favor of the toll road, and we could not be happier. And we're very pleased with the visionary leadership that the governor uh, and as well as uh, Senator Galvano has shown on this issue and we appreciate everyone around this table who has listened to the various opinions. Um, as a speaker, two speakers ago just told you, Master County is the poorest county in the state of Florida. There's 67 counties according to USA Today in 2018 and 2019 Madison County place last. Greenville is the poorest city in Madison County. We have experienced sustained poverty over 20% for the last 50 years. If you Google the poverty rate in Greenville right now, it is 48%. So that means one in two people are living uh, in poverty. Right now, the unemployment rate for my Youth age 16 to 24 is over 60%. It's sad. So we're looking for not only opportunity, but hope. And hope that has left us for decades. So you have the grandmother seeing blind poverty, you have the mother seeing blind poverty, and then you have the granddaughter who's seeing blind poverty. So as a town manager, I have put forth a short term strategic plan a middle-range strategic plan and a long-range strategic plan. And this initiative here, 
here lies with that long-term plan. I've heard some say that it won't create very many jobs, but they do create jobs that only create um, convenience stores and gas stations. If that is the case, we'll take it. Um, just last year, any of you from Madison County or would be aware that there was a possibility of Greenville closing its largest employer, which was our elementary school. At the time, the superintendent and I went back and forth, and her charge to me was, if you don't want to get schools to close, bring some jobs to Madison County. So, from a Greenville standpoint, there's no way that we should be conservative on this issue because we have very little to conserve. So, I understand environmental issues. I've worked with uh, Environmental Sierra Club, all the members for many years of my career. I spent 20 years in Washington, D.C. <laughs> I served four members of Congress. I worked in the Clinton White House. So, I get politics across the board. This is one of the few opportunities that we have to do something that can change the plight of everyone, but particularly these, those who have been left behind, um, who have lived in poverty for, for decade after decade. So I ask you to consider uh, those factors. I'm sorry that I ran out of time. And uh, for those of you who would like to talk to the media, who would like to talk about press release, I have them available here. Um, for those of you who like to talk to me about a different point of view, I'm welcome to do that to you. Thank you very much. Chair, that concludes the public comment.